got some bad news to talk about today that uh, isn't surprising, but still, it's pretty disappointing. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Dynasty back again with another Mortal Kombat 1 MK Uno video because the official Mortal Kombat socials came out and gave us an updated bio for Scorpion and MK1. They also came out and confirmed the name of the Outworld stage that has the thrones of Sindel, Melina, and Katana. I believe it's dubbed the Great Hall. So two things that are officially being released from Netherrealm Studios for Mortal Kombat 1. But the bad news and the big elephant in the room is what we talked about on Sunday. You guys remember on Sunday we mentioned how the official Mortal Kombat 1 Steam webpage on the features had cross-platform implemented in the description. It mentioned that we could have cross-play on the PC version of MK1, which we all, you know, would assume meant the PC could play with the Xbox, the PlayStation. Who knows about the Nintendo Switch? Like, the game drops in like 10 days, 9 days, and we haven't seen Switch gameplay. But, however, it seemed like maybe with the Steam Store confirming that the features were gonna have crossplay, that maybe at launch we would finally get crossplay for sure across the board on every version of Mortal Kombat 1, something that's been in beta since MK11. Three years ago? Maybe longer than that? Well, the bad news is about an hour ago, the official webpage on Steam for MK1 was updated, and guess what? They removed crossplay from the features. And I've been pretty vocal about my disdain for that on Twitter, and I'm fighting against Netherrealm Studios apologists who are telling me that I need to just be patient and get over it for expecting cross-platform in 20. 23 when every major fighting game like Street Fighter, Tekken, King of Fighters, I'm pretty sure, not to mention every other AAA game, uh, has already pretty much been implementing crossplay for years at this point. We cannot apparently be vocal about our disdain for having to purchase potentially one, two, three, four different versions to play with different friends on different consoles. I'm pissed. So if you are like me and pissed, drop a like on this video because apparently people think that you're not allowed to complain on the internet anymore, but I feel like if we don't complain, nothing's ever going to get done. So that rant will be saved for the end of the video, but without further ado, let's talk about Scorpion's bio in Mortal Kombat 1. It says, Revered Lin Kuei Warrior, Scorpion. Like his cherished father, Scorpion is dedicated to the Lin Kuei and its defense of Earthrealm. When his father died, Scorpion was bereft, though he took pride in knowing that his brother Sub-Zero, aka Bihan, would secede their father as Lin Kuei's Grandmaster. But Sub-Zero's unprecedented moves to cast off the Lin Kuei's traditional duties have frozen Scorpion's enthusiasm. He fears that he may one day have to battle his brother to control the Lin Kuei legacy. So. If you didn't think they had beef, me and my fellow Scorpion tattoo homie, we've got some beef. So, yeah, there you go. It's Scorpion's bile in MK1. We'll see how that ends. Um, will Bihan get killed? It seems like the Shirai Ryu is already to be created in this game because, again, Smoke has been caught saying in battle taunts for the Shirai Ryu. So, seemingly, it seems like Scorpion... Kwai Liang will be the leader of the Shirai Ryu once he does leave the Lin Kuei. He'll probably take his younger adopted brother, but again, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, Scorpion's Bile in MK1. And here's the Great Hall, two versions, afternoon and day. Let me go ahead and cover myself so you can see it all in its beauty and glory. There it is. Yup, it's a beautiful stage. It really is. It's just so funny because for months we were like, Adenia, Adenia, Adenia. Then the last month we were like, Outworld, Outworld, Outworld. And now it's uh, finally dubbed The Great Hall. So there you go. Official name of the stage is The Great Hall. And like I mentioned, on the right side here, it used to say cross play. And now it no longer has that listed. And dude, I am pissed. I am pissed. I'm genuinely upset because cross play has been something in beta since Mortal Kombat 11. That game came out four fucking years ago. There's no reason why that game didn't even have, like, King of the Hill between PS4 and Xbox. That wasn't even existed, I'm pretty sure. 
And this game is going to launch again without crossplay, which puts me at a handicap, and it sucks because I want to play with all of you guys. It's 2023, and like I mentioned, most AAA games, publishers can afford to get this shit done. We got an amazing GGPO netcode back in Mortal Kombat X. Seemed like Netherrealm was on top of the ball when it came to netcode and things like this, but since then, they've been behind. And again, to this day, you can go play Mortal Kombat 11 and it still says cross-play and beta, and half the time it does not even work. And I was really looking forward to playing with you guys with just one console. And the cool thing about the whole crossplay was I'm pretty sure it was mentioned that cross progression was also going to be implemented, which means that if I went out of my way to buy, like, for instance, the Switch version of MK1, which at this point, is it even fucking real? <laughs> is it even fucking real? We don't even see a gameplay trailer, and I wonder why. It's probably because it looks like shit, but again, that's for a whole nother debate. That's a hardware issue, but still. It's kind of scummy to still hype that for months. Not even screenshots, nothing. But they'll take your $110 for the premium edition on the fucking Switch without you even knowing what it looks like. Ugh. 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 Gross. Horrible practices. People defend this shit. Um, but... No. To play with you guys, I have to buy, for starters, a PS5. Plus the PS5 version. Um, I have to have a PC capable of running MK1. Then the PC version, and if I want to play with my Switch homies, I gotta buy the Switch version of the game. Obviously, I play on Xbox primarily, so I'm gonna buy it on that regardless, but it's stupid because, again, cross-progression was meant to be implemented alongside cross-play, which meant that if you, for instance, meant that, like, on the go, say I went on a road trip, you know what I mean? I'm on, like, a, a plane or a train or a submarine, submersible with a Logitech controller, you know what I mean? Whatever I'm doing, I could have just busted out my Switch version of Mortal Kombat 1, on the go, made some progress, and that progress would have been synced to my primary, I guess, accounts, which I could then probably sign into on my Xbox version of Mortal Kombat 1, and what do you know, cross-progression, the things I unlock on the fucking Switch would transfer to the Xbox, vice versa, in between, like, the PC, the PlayStation, it sucks, and that was always what fucking made me mad about the previous versions of, like, Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat X, even with, like, a WBID implemented, they never carried your stats over and stuff, so, like, when you have, like, the collector's edition skins at the time for, like, one version of the game, you should have been able to use that skin on every version of the game. Instead, no, you had to, like, re-unlock everything, redo all the progress, and again, with us not having cross-play, we're not gonna have cross-progression, so when I do go out of my way to go buy these other versions of the game, guess what? I have to dedicate all this fucking time to unlock everything again. I don't have all the time in the fucking world to sit here and do the exact same thing four different times. I really don't. It's bad enough you gotta pay for the game four different times, but the fact that you have to unlock everything again and you can't just do it once and it's all in sync? Dude, we're in 2023. Warner Brothers is stingy as fuck and I swear, I'm not even kidding. People are defending this and saying that I just need to be patient on Twitter. And I'm like... This is why shit doesn't get done, because people don't hold companies like this fucking accountable, and it's always been this way for Netherrealm fucking studios. Going back to the days of Mortal Kombat X, going back to the days of Mortal Kombat 11, what's the one complaint that we've always had? It's fucking documented on the fucking channel. Not just mine. Everywhere. It's communication. It was to the point where they even came out and apologized during the Mortal Kombat 11 life cycle and said they would be better, and they still went MIA for months, to the point where we made hashtag, why would NRS do this? And again, hashtag, why would NRS do this? Is it the fucking studio not having enough funding from WB? This is fucking Warner Brothers. This is a fucking giant corporation. Huge. And you're telling me, the one main title outside of Hogwarts Legacy, they cannot figure out somebody in studio, they can't figure out anybody, they can't outsource this to fix the fucking netcode. Now, my tinfoil hat theory behind this is, again, tinfoil hat theory is, they're doing this on purpose. I think they're doing this on purpose because they know people like myself, people like a lot of you guys, are maybe willing to buy more than one copy of Mortal Kombat 1 to play with certain family members, certain friends, and I think that eventually we're probably going to get cross-platform, maybe like a year down the line, and then when we get it, everyone's gonna be like, oh, this is great, it's amazing, thank you so much, Netherrealm, after we've already fucking bought several copies of the fucking game.
keep in mind, this is the only other big title WB has coming out this year. They need to fucking get all of this. All of this. So you don't think it's fucking weird that, eh, I don't know. Why would we put crossplay? Just let them buy the game more than once for a couple months and then maybe we'll have it implemented. You don't think that's fucking weird? And it's not like the studio can just stand up for themselves and be like, no, we're not gonna fuck our player base like this because this is the exact same fucking studio that leaked Mortal Kombat 12 in an earnings call. Ed Boon was asked about that and you know what his fucking response to that was? You did have your your uh, announcement spoiled a little bit by your parent company's CEO on, a, oh. on an earnings call. So I just, like, I know you don't want to talk out of school about the guy signing the checks necessarily, but like, what, what was your and the team's reaction when that happened? Because obviously that was not something that was, that you were expecting. Well, he called it Mortal Kombat 12, so he kind of really didn't spoil it. And um, so it, the game is Mortal Kombat 1, and uh, we were just we just announced it, and uh, we're, we're happy about that. Well, and, and that reveal... Do I need to say anything else? This is a fucking franchise that I love, but when you have the likes of Ed Boon, who has to, like, fall in line and answer things the right way... You telling me Boone wasn't pissed off that that happened, but Boone can't come out and be like, yeah, it sucked. We were working our asses off and this guy came out and spoiled the surprise. But thankfully he said MK12, so it was kind of still, a no, he's gonna just completely play coy and be like, professional, be a fucking slave for the system. And it sucks, dude. It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. It's not surprising though. It's a fucking cult. Oh, this is kind of funny. I, I retweeted this on my Twitter today. It says Warner Bros. Discovery says they will take a hit of 300 million to 500 million to their 2023 earnings because they refuse to make a fair deal with actors and writers. Hmm. Do you think they give a fuck about me and you? Do you think they give a fuck about the studios? Do you think they give a fuck about any of this? They don't, guys. They don't. And I'm so tired of these other fucking content creators just, like, not being able to just be a little bit vocal about the bullshit we faced time and time and time again. And they won't. They'll never be fucking critical. And they'll call me crazy and unhinged and psycho and fucking everything else on God's green earth because I'm fucking critical about communication. And I have been like this for years, dude. Four fucking years. How many times have I tweeted at Ed Boon asking about the Mortal Kombat 11 announcement trailer skin for Scorpion that we never fucking got? That, that they never acknowledged, ever! Why we didn't fucking get that skin? The list goes on and on and on and on and on, dude. I could make a 30, 40 minute video about all the false promises we've had from the studio. It's not even potentially their fault. So... Yeah, we're not getting fucking crossplay at launch, and I'm fucking pissed off about it. And again, the the fucking apologists that are sitting here and acting like we're asking for so much, it, dude, fuck off. It's the same people that were saying that because I'm asking for a streamer mode in Mortal Kombat One, where they remove blood, something that was in Mortal Kombat back in the '90s, all throughout the 3D era, just the mode and the settings where I can go blood off that only affects me, not you. Me, because literally my upload from yesterday got age restricted and it was a fucking art style cinematic of Hanzo Asashi watching his wife get killed by Quan Chi. That was enough to restrict my whole fucking video. But I'm fucking crazy for just asking for a little fucking help from this company. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm so fed up with this bullshit. I'm, I'm really fucking fed up with it and... Yeah, there you go. There's no fucking crossplay. I'm mad and... The comments are probably gonna be a cesspool of apologists because again, on Twitter, there's people defending this and saying, just be patient, just be patient. Dude, if I continue to be fucking patient, nothing's gonna get done. No one else my fucking size will ever be this fucking critical of the game they cover. Yeah, I'm blacklisted. I wonder why. Somebody said I was unhinged for asking for fucking crossplay today. But anyways, there you go. There's your Mortal Kombat news for the day. Uh, Sorry guys, I'm, I'm fighting the good fight and for the real ones that are, <laughs> their eyes are open and they can see it for what it is, I love you, thank you, but this shit's just tiresome dude, it's tiresome and I'm telling you it's a fucking cult and I've never been happier in my life to not be associated with a company because man, 
Come out and say we're working on it. Give us a timetable at least. Don't keep us in fucking limbo like Combat Pack 2 and 3 and everything else you guys usually fucking do, man. It doesn't matter though because, you know, people like me are going to get aggravated and we're going to fade away. But there's a billion other people who will just eat this shit and not complain because they'll get the game sent to them for free, etc. So... Anyways, I love you guys. Sorry I get heated about these things, but um, this is the only franchise I am passionate like this about, and I'm just tired of seeing it go down the, the drain, man. I, I grew up on this shit, you know, and it hurts. It hurts, man. It, it hurts to see the gaming industry just go to shit, and uh, we all know why. We're looking at it on the screen right now. So, Mr. Johnson, you and your friends, I never want to be like you. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. See you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. 87 on it, crack.